Last weekend, we went to a nearby family farm for a fun morning of strawberry picking. I didn't know what my daughter would think of it, but she totally loved it. By the end of the morning, we picked 12 pounds of strawberries and probably eaten another pound ourselves. Then she went home for a long afternoon nap, and I went to the kitchen to figure out what to do with all of them. Hi, I'm Kelsey, the Naptime Chef. As you can see, we had a lot of fun strawberry picking earlier this week. Now it's the weekend, and we're going to have a wonderful cookout with our neighbors. They're really nice people, and the kids get along great. So my daughter is napping right now, and what I'm going to do is prepare a strawberry raspberry fruit cobbler. We're going to use all those fresh berries we picked this week, and a little bit of raspberries that I picked up at the market. It's going to be an easy, fun, delicious dessert that everybody loves. So this evening I'm taking Uncle Will's Cuban baby back ribs, and the fruit cobbler, and some wine. And my neighbor is taking care of the side dishes. It will be a really fun cookout for the whole family, and it's a great activity for a weekend evening. Let's get started. The first step in making this cobbler is to wash and dry your fruit. I used raspberries and strawberries, but you could use almost any kind of fruit when making this recipe. Once the strawberries were washed and patted dry, I sliced them into a Pyrex. I use the Pyrex because it's really easy to measure four cups. Then all I have to do is pour it into the pie pan before baking. This dessert remains liquidy after it's been cooked, so it's best to bake it in a decorative pie plate or the pan you intend to serve it in. To make the topping, add the oats, sugar, flour, butter, and cinnamon to a food processor. Then give it a quick blitz until it forms a soft, sticky dough. Distribute the dough evenly over the fruit and pat it until it forms a nice crust on top. Then everything is all ready for the oven. Bake it at 350 for 30 minutes or until the fruit becomes cooked and bubbly and the top is a nice golden brown. Thank you.